Hi all of you, the update for NEET SS Superficiality exam is going to be held on 29th and 30th of March 2025. The update for DM or DRNB uh, Medical Oncology and DM or DRNB Critical Care Medicine. The update is this. Previously, it was those students want to appear for DM Oncology or DM Critical Care Medicine have to go through DM Medical Group. That means the PG exit standard of uh, PG Internal Medicine preparation has to be done. That means high recent 21st based edition uh, classes and books and also subspeciality preparation going on for general medicine. But today, the notification dated 13-9-2024, what it clearly says is, for admissions to DM or DRNB Medical Oncology, there shall be a separate question paper of Medical Oncology group. This question paper of this group shall be exclusively from topics of Medical Oncology. Now, when we read para B, for admissions of DM or DRNB critical care medicine, there shall be a separate question paper for critical care medicine group. This question paper of this group shall be exclusively from topics of critical care medicine. The rest of the scheme of examination shall continue the same for all groups. So, whatever the 13 groups of need SS has been announced remains the same except for admissions into DM medical oncology or DRMB medical oncology or DM or DRMB critical care medicine. The point is this, those students are from radiation oncology, those students are from other than medical group want to apply for DM medical group, they have to go through uh, PG medicine of internal medicine standard, that means it becomes totally different. And similarly, those students are from background of anesthesia, they want to do critical care, again they have to learn uh, and internal medicine, internal medicine of those students who are reading for PG medicine. So this amendment has come by the given by the National Board of Examination very clearly says the 150 questions are going to be asked for the upcoming exam of NEET SS 2025 on 29th and 30th of March, which clearly says that 150 questions will be only from the topics of DM Medical Oncology for students appearing for preparing and appearing for DM or DRNB Medical Oncology. Similarly. Those students are want to prepare and want to apply for DM or DRNB critical care medicine, 150 questions will be only of critical care medicine standard. Now the question comes as this, sir, what if of 150 questions, if some questions could be asked from the feeder branch? See, there is no specification given in the notice that a feeder branch, suppose a feeder branch could be an anesthesia for some students or feeder medicine, feeder branch could be from internal medicine for some students, those who are preparing for critical care medicine. Or there could be a feeder branch of radiation oncology for students who are, want to appear for DM oncology or could be a internal medicine PG or students who have completed internal medicine of MD standards want to appear for DM oncology. So far in the specification of the notice, there is no inclusion of any feeder branch percentage of questions could be asked. That means it is very, very clearly said 150 questions only will be from the topics of students who are appearing for DM medical oncology or DM critical care medicine. So it is enough to prepare only on those topics of the specialty standards. That means, sir, what standard I should prepare? The standard of preparation has to be on specialty. Yes, so super specialty standard. So what is the advice that to be given to the students is? It is very clear. In speed learning app, we will have exclusive 150 questions exam paper as a grant test for DM medical oncology or DRM medical oncology appearing students and similarly for DM or DRM critical care medicine appearing students and superficiality standard textbooks of post DM oncology and post uh, DM critical care medicine faculties uh, have handled class we have already uploaded in the speed learning app kindly go through that and those students who have registered for say DM medical group for both the specialities, kindly migrate to a new course which has been opened uh, in the DM medical oncology needs slash NESS and similarly for DM critical care medicine, a separate uh, folder which has been opened for those students who want to prepare the same. So in speed, we will definitely support you for these two specialities as we are supporting all the specialities together for need SS 13 groups. So, don't worry and all that you require for this exams are very well available in speed learning app and we will be coming up with some 
revision classes and the schedule will be updated soon and high yield and PYQs of superficiality standard for DM Medical Oncology in DM Critical Care Medicine as we are doing uh, the revision for NEET SS groups, other groups as well. So, we are there with you and any further queries or anything that you require and feel free to contact us and we will definitely support you. Wish you all the best. Thank you very much.